Hello everyone and welcome back to the McLaren co-op career mode. I'm joined with Gary once again as we head to the Singapore Grand Prix. Obviously last week's race from Monza was, was a fairly dramatic one, uh, was fairly interesting and it has meant that Gary leads the championship. How, how are you feeling with that my friend? Uh, you know Matt, this is just uh, you know something we knew it was coming eventually. Two back-to-back -back wins, actually, after a back-to-back twelfths, and now my confidence is at the highest because we go to my favorite circuit in the world tonight. Singapore, yeah, is certainly uh, a Gary happy hunting ground. I, I know we might also get some comments from people that normally come out to the live streams. As you might be able to tell by my voice, I don't feel 100%, so we decided we weren't going to stream tonight. Um, but Gary, I've just noticed as well... I have more fastest laps this season than anyone else. I'm noticing that too. I got two of them. You got what four and uh, Verstappen has three and you and half of only, your fastest only... laps. No points, by the way. I was about to say that we, we, we each had two that have awarded the bonus point as well, uh, which has not been ideal. But uh, I mean, we got what seven races to go, eight races to go with the championship plus three sprint races Ugh. there's a 63 point gap between us i reckon i can still catch you by the end of the season here right. we are then gary qualifying night singapore grand prix you have got to be on pole here um i'm gonna go realistic matt i'm thinking pole position oh <laughs> like confident gary is certainly an interesting character um, but, but I kind of vibe with it here because I have no confidence for this venue. Um, and to be fair, the last time you said you'd out-qualify me, I managed to out-qualify you. So I'm going to not allow that to happen tonight because I'm so bad here at Singapore. Not an ideal start to my lab. Say, I always say you can never tell how good the start of your lap is until you get out onto the Raffles Boulevard. I have no idea where to break down here. So oh, it's not Paul. Strolled out the final corner. Oh, not I'll as good as that, I was uh, expecting. Uh, P8 for me. It's it's time, Gary, for the smug face. Oh, P4. Look at that. Not bad. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I, I will t I'm genuinely shocked by that. I thought you were going to blitz this thing, but uh, I was I'm... leading, I think, at the end of Sector 2. Yeah, I need to see Sector 1 is where I feel like I really botched it all. Here we are then, Gary. Singapore Grand Prix time. We line up P4 and P8, but it's not the way around we thought we would be, did we? Mr. Confident, Mr. I'm going to be on pole, finds himself barely in the top half of the pack. How are you feeling for this? Uh, not ideal, um, but we've seen it time and time again, Matt. My race pace um, significantly better than qualifying, so I'm expecting a McLaren 1-2. Here we go. Five red lights, Singapore Grand Prix. That was a long hold. That was a really long hold, and Hamilton's been mugged by George. Verstappen's trying to cut across me. We're three wide, and Verstappen's understeer wide in turn one. Somehow I've got round him and not picked up damage, but of course I get a warning for that. Gary, you're awfully quiet. I'm a so bit nervous. So far, 
No gain. No gain. No gain. Interesting. Okay. Well, George Russell certainly has. He's into the lead of the Grand Prix. But I'm up to P2 then in hot pursuit. I managed to overtake now what is 10 Formula 1 World Championships before Turn 1. It's going to settle in and kind of let this thing come to me. I had a pound, Gary. If I had a pound. Singapore, I reckon, unless this race is chaotic, will probably be some of the shortest edits we ever do. Oh, yeah. Because we're both just going to be concentrating so much. Singapore requires... Uh, it's similar to Monaco, you know? Well, it's like my Monza one. <laughs> Apart from the dive at turn one, and then a bit of a pile-up on turn two, and then the red flag. Nothing happened for me. Yeah. It was so boring. Alonso down I'm... to the eight. Yeah, the AI run much less wing here than us. I will tell you that for free. I'm losing time down every single straight and a lot of it. I had a big moment there. Well, I think my goal early on is to try and hang in the range of George and hope that I can break out of the range of Max behind. Oh, there's a big gap between you and Lewis. Yeah, and, and the Lewis is down to sixth. Penultimate corner, I uh, caught too much curb. Ah. Lewis Hamilton down to sixth place from pole. That's a Charles Leclerc style start. I'd rather have a Leclerc style start than a Perez at home style start, you know? Yeah. I'm literally hanging on to George Russell by the slimmest of margins. I was trying to not go through too much battery early. Yeah, I think that's the other big thing. Ooh, I might have the DRS. I have got the DRS. Must have just been by the slimmest of margins, but Max is not inside my range. We can afford to focus on the car in front for a while. Fernando's just barely holding on to my DRS here. Are you closing in on the group in front? Oh yeah, we're starting to make some gains on them here. Interesting. I'm staggered still they didn't put a DRS zone down that little straight. That new one, the short shoot. Isn't there one in real life? I believe so. I keep seeing the speed trap out of the corner of my eye and thinking there's a yellow out. Huh. Can't help but feel at the moment, though, if I get past George Russell, he's just going to come straight back past me. So I'm not really sure whether it's worth sending. Did you just get the same radio message I did? Uh, what did you get? Uh, our gap. No, I just got I got the gap to... Uh, maybe it was to you, actually. What was the gap? I don't even know. I, I just completely <laughs> disregarded it. Oh, down the outside of George. Switch him. Go on. Oh, there we go. Into the lead of the Grand Prix. Like I said, not really sure I'm going to be able to keep him at bay, but as long as we don't bring Verstappen into this fight, we may as well get some clear air. I'm staggered as well, Gary, how not bad ERS management is here. Yeah, it's not I too thought bad. on this new layout, it'd be terrible. I reckon we've hit that point where the mediums are starting to roll. So my softs are still feeling quite nice at the moment, but yeah, you probably are right. I went from gaining like a second in five laps, so that, I mean, in the last sector and a half, I've gained about four tenths of a second. I'm trying to get George out of my range. ASAP, maybe I can leave him to battle with Verstappen and Perez behind. But of course, you know, we're also in that fight with them still, in the constructors, and hopefully in the drivers, but I've got George out of the range. I forgot to say as well, though, Gary, of course, Mercedes now... Of course, do have the second fastest car behind us. Yep. Red Bull are only theoretically the third fastest car now. Yeah, it's going to be good very, for us in the title close. fight. Yeah, it gives us a chance, doesn't it? I'm quite surprised to be honest. George Russell is really dropping back, but it looks like all the other soft compound runners are. Yeah, they're starting to struggle. So I, I reckon, yeah, their lower wings are not working for them here. They've got good pace over a couple of laps, but as soon as that tyre deck starts falling off, they've got nothing. Those first few corners, I'm just able to just dominate the gap. Yeah, the AI are never good through there anyway, but I think that's also helped by better ties and better setup. Well, to be honest, I don't think I can be too disappointed with the way this first stint has gone. Um, but I need to try and make sure we hang on through the final couple of turns and we get into the pit lane clean and tidy. I'm not going to allow Gary the undercut on me unless I was going to force him into an early stop. Oh, I'll just make sure I get the car stopped in time. That is always ideal. As Verstappen, I believe, is... Oh, yeah, it is Verstappen that's joined me then in the pit lane. But will not be close enough to have any effects. Not that he's, his group box is behind mine anyway, so it doesn't matter. 
but am I going to come out in some clear air, or am I going to? I'm going to be in trouble here. I'm going to be in real trouble by the looks of it, unless they're all boxing fairly soon. I'm going to be out battling with Yuki. Hey, you got a couple cars there. Huh? Yeah, I got a gaggle of four cars, but I think they all should be pitting pretty soon. Unfortunately, I'm not in the range of Sonoda either to help, but it does give me an opportunity just to build the tyre temp up, Gary. I know I've got some pace in the back pocket. I know I've got an advantage as well. Don't need to risk anything against Yuki at the moment. Can afford to lose a second or two. If need be. Hopefully, I should be able to out traction him. Oh, not with a line like that, I won't. I was going to say at the hairpin, but that's not going to happen. Still be a little way back behind the Alpha Tauri. Need to get him down the next straight, though, I feel. Because he's definitely struggling around for grip. Nice run. Decent Everyone pit entry. the pit lane. Including young Garaldinio. Oh, Yuki is really fighting this. Oh! That's not my cleanest move ever, but it is a move. Oh, we yes, we take that. Ah, oh, no, Russell's going to get me. Okay. Oh, I was what time inside Oh, of Gary him. is on softs. Okay. Spicy. Very, very interesting. Is Verstappen, does he undercut you again? Uh, I never passed him. Or was him. he still ahead? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, isn't that beautiful when you just have better stopping power on the softs? And you can just send it around the outside? Oh, Oh, it's for Snappen, I think. Is it yes, Snappen? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> of course you've got less work to do. If we got a safety car here, I would be screwed. Oh, you dick. Hey. I thought that lap you're going to go for us is not going to use so much battery. Oh, no. That's not good. What have you done? Knock the wing. Oh, Gary, no. All right, well, <laughs> new new I er, new strategy here. Hang on. Notice as well, one of those Haas cars is absolutely bawling out. Yeah, see them right behind the Ferrari there. One of them's popping off. We don't know who. I believe it's Hulkenberg. I'm not a betting man, but Hulkenberg's AI in this game is very good. Hamilton up to fifth. Oh, okay. He's on a bit of a recovery drive Never then, though no, he's not. <laughs> Ferrari have been so weird this season, haven't they? They have. You know, we've kind of had Mercedes fight for wins here and there. Red Bull have obviously been our big competitors. But Ferrari have always been there, but never there, if you get right. me. Despite the fact Leclerc's beating me in the championship. But well, you're going to make some good games here, we just hang on. Well, I'm two points back behind him in the championship at the moment. So basically, if I beat him today, then I'll be ahead again. Well, I think George Russell is going to get DRS on me, but it's only going to be for the final lap of the race. Hey, That's you've been chilling, open. haven't you? Um, not quite. Okay, so he just found pace. No. You got damage? Yes. Oh, okay. On about lap Cause... 15. <laughs> oh, okay. Pretty... I was like, I was noticing, I was like, man, I got nothing and he's not even driving away anymore from me. No, I pretty much, when you were talking about getting damage, I pretty much immediately picked up damage. Oh, okay. Really clumsy little error, just understeered into the wall. Yeah, mine, that was literally me. I, I just understeered into it and it was all me. Just really a silly one to take. Yeah, but I'm kind of getting a little bit worried now because George is going. He's there. Yeah. You better be concerned. You better be worried. You better defend like a lion. Get aggressive. Wreck each other. Oh, no. That won't help. I picked up even more damage. Oh boy! Come on, I can't lead most of this thing and throw it away in the final lap. Lando Norris could. Just sit in the middle of the road. Oh, Perez has a massive run. Yeah, the AI use battery on the final lap. Oh, I barely keep it on track. I ran into the side of Perez and then put him over the curb. Not how I want to do it, but. Was it a Verstappen-esque move? 
Uh, I mean, he was never, you know, clear of me, so it wasn't like I was coming from behind. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. But I certainly ran him out of road. Fair enough. Ah, uh, George has hit me! George has done a Perez! Huh. He's literally just bumped and run me! In the exact hairpin where I have been hit by George Russell before. What is that? I cannot believe that. There's nothing I could do there. And you just lost the race because of that. He's literally moved me to win it. I've lost my entire wing in the process. Gary, I'm speechless. That's the second Come time on. Come on. in co-op you know, I've lost the Singapore win in the, in final, the final lap. lap. <laughs> what is that? Oh, yes, yeah, celebrate, you dick. I'll take P3 after that. That was not a bad race. Not a bad result, I should say, for that. I genuinely can't believe that. George Good Russell's old George just... Russell, everybody. That is disgusting. In NASCAR, you'd call that too much. I don't know. Not in this era. Well, I'm sure Mercedes is very happy with a win, but that should have been a five-second penalty. They do like to send it in that hairpin, I've noticed. Yeah, but if I've gone defensive, you, you can't really do that. Oh, they find a way. Well, Gary, I got the two in your predicted one, two. Yeah? I got the three in one. That don't make sense. No. Uh, Logan Sar oh, I thought Logan Sargent scored a point for a second. But nope. Um, fortunately, Matt, we both make gains on the constructors. We're 22 back. Yeah, Russell, yeah, I'll say we've um, done all right. Russell closes in on you after that. Uh, he is two well, points behind you. I'm not surprised he closed in on me with yeah. that. It was a dirty tactic. He closed in on you more ways than one, we can say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Verstappen, though, that's huge for his championship. Of course, you know, was right there with you and Sergio. And if he'd taken P2, he would have probably... Well, you would have lost a couple of points. Perez would have lost a couple of points. There would be... Well, less than 10 points covering all three of you there, but... Yes. Uh, yes. Like you said, constructors-wise, they're just 22 points in it, but George Russell is clearly happy to play dirty as we head into the final few races of the season here. Thank you all so much for watching, though. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, get yourself subscribed, uh, and we will be back later on this week when Formula 1 returns to the Japanese Grand Prix. Hopefully, well I can put George Russell in the shadow realm. A massive thank you to all of my YouTube members and my Patreon supporters for their continued donations to help my work. These things go much further than I think a lot of you ever realise and allow me to continue making content full-time here on YouTube. So if you want to support me from as little as £1 a month and be featured on all of these end clips, either click the join button next to the subscribe or head over to my Patreon. There's a link down in the description.